On this episode of Motorhead Garage, the latest technology to keep you off the side of the road, flat out the best space saving lift, and much more. Impact gun is good to take a wheel off. Don't ever use it to put it on, you want to torque it. Davey, you got the wheel off, bud. Yeah, you keep working over there, buddy. Hey, welcome to Motorhead Garage. Well, folks, today we're working on a project that probably not many of you have ever seen, and that is the parking brake on some of these cars. And they're like a little drum brake that you'll find that's in the hat section of the rear rotor. And we got Chris Abel here from AMS Automotive who has brought a nice supply of brake pads and liners for this. And tell us a little bit about this drum brake that you find for the parking brake, as we call it. Well, Dave, the, the emergency brake or the parking brake goes inside of the drum and hat rotor. Mm -hmm. um, we offer a, a complete selection of emergency brake shoes for those applications. And today, we're going to be installing a set of ProQuiet brake shoes for the emergency brake. All right, now it's some interesting about this parking brake. Now I hate to say it, but a lot of people don't use it very often, so consequently they kind of get rusted up and then they get frozen up and then they won't work at all. And especially with these drum brakes like this, if you let it go, they can be kind of a problem, but eventually they do wear out and you gotta replace them, and especially if you've left the thing on partially, you know, doesn't take long to burn one up. But I'm glad you brought some nice brakes. You got your pads here, and we got our liners here. Let's see how Sam's come along over there. Great. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm measuring the thickness of this disc with the uh, micrometer. Right here in the front, we've got minimum thickness, 12 and a half millimeter. I measured it in a few different places, and of course, this is a pretty smooth rotor, so flat mic's working good. Most of your disc brake micrometers will have a pointed anvil. This is measuring 13.1, 13.2, but it's got a lip on the outside edge where the pad doesn't ride, rust forms on there. There's not a lot of miles on this Jeep, but the people let it sit a lot. So it's got some rust and so on, so I'm gonna clean this rotor up and get this thing ready to put a set of pads on, and the shoes will be inside there. There's also a dimension for the maximum diameter of the drum. These drums don't get a lot of wear. It'll tear the shoes up if you drive with the parking brake on, but all I need to do is take this caliper off and then I can go ahead and pull the rotor off. This is just a hat rotor. Slides off over the studs. I can go clean it up, put a nice little non-directional finish on it. Aha! Look at that. That's a bonded shoe, inexpensive, cheap shoe. It's on, this is just like a set of regular brake shoes on a drum brake. This thing's been driven with the, park, the uh, parking brake on, it's hot. So the bond let loose, that's why this thing was making noise. I'll take this rotor off, I'll clean it all up, and you can see here's the inside of the drum. It's a regular drum surface, just like on a drum brake. And these things are very similar, and you can see there's a, in here there's a reluctor ring and a tone wheel for the ABS brakes, which this Jeep is equipped with, so I go clean this up. All right, now you can see we're gonna take these brake shoes off. Now the bottom one, liner fell off of this one so you can see how good this is. It's a little bit rusty, not real bad, but these are all held on here with springs, so we take the springs off and see if we can't get these coming off here. This, get this spring here, this might be a little bit tougher. All right, now we got our Brake shoes off, and there you can see what they look like. This is the liner that goes on here. What we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and we'll clean all this up, make sure it's nice and clean, lube it, and we'll start putting this back together. In the meantime, we're gonna take a short break. Stay with us. Hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, what I've done now is I got the uh, shoes off, I've cleaned up this backing plate. You can see it got that all nice and clean. We kind of uh, cleaned off as much rust off of this as we could. Checked everything over. And what I'm doing right now is I'm lubricating my nibs. Now, what this is, are these are little places right here on the backing plate that extend a little bit that allow 
the brake shoe to ride on that. It keeps it away from the backing plate. What you want to do is take a little bit of high temperature lube and put just a little bit on there. You don't have to put a lot. But what this will do is this will keep it from uh, making much noise, help control rattle, help it operate real nice and smooth. Now I want to lube some of the other areas up here, the adjuster, put a little bit of lubrication on that as well. Now the key thing though is the adjuster. Here's what it looks like. It's going to fit right here between the shoes. Now behind that there's a little opening here. It's got a little rubber plug in there. You pop that out. That's how you adjust it after you have it all assembled. But the important thing with this adjuster, if you take it apart, you can see this is what it looks like right here. You want to take a little bit of high temperature lubricant. Again, you don't have to put a lot on there, just a little bit. And put some on the threads around here because what this is going to have to do is that's going to have to turn real easy so you can adjust it. Always put a little bit right here and of course right here where the, uh, the uh, backing plates on the shoes ride. This way, again, it absorbs any vibration you might have. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put my shoes together, get those on. Meantime, let's check out Sam. See how he's coming with that rotor. When you're going to put a, a rotor on and put new pads on, you haven't turned it. Look at that, buddy. You want to clean it up, take a little 180 grit sandpaper, wash it good. And when you're done, and clean up, by the way, the drum surface where the shoes are going to ride. Look at that. Dave even put grease on the flange for me. I've got the flange surface in here all cleaned up. We'll see how he did. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. Again, I wash it with soap and water. I will hit it with some brake clean after we get the pads in. That's all there is to it. Buddy, time for you to put in some pads. All right, well, Sam did a great job getting the rotor on there. I've got my brake pads here and my caliper ready to mount. And one of the things you want to do is adjust your parking brake on this thing so that you can turn your rotor and you get that set up right so you don't have the drag against this. That's all set. Now just go ahead and put this on. Now, one of the things you got to be careful of, you, these can be a little bit tricky, but you got to get your uh, mounting bolt pieces back out of the way so this will slide on. And then if you do that, it'll slide on just like that. If you don't do that, you can fight it for a long time, so check it carefully. All I have to do now is go ahead, put on my bolts, tighten this up, and I'm in good shape. Now, one of the things that we have done is we've installed these new ultra quiet disc pads from AMS Automotive. Now, if you take a look at them, you can see they're high quality. They got the nice little backing plate. This is a little pad. This will help keep it quiet. It's got clips on them. And by the way, you want to notice on this, look on here because they're right and left. The uh, outboard pad is right or left. So you want to, especially on this particular model, so check that out. Otherwise, you'll get them on there and then you'll be fighting it. So this is a little tip for you to take it to uh, remember that. Now, once we get this all set up, we'll go ahead, bleed our brakes. We get them all bled. We'll get the other side done. We'll be in good shape on this Jeep. That's all there is to it on doing these brakes. Take a little bit of time, do the detail work on it, you'll be surprised how quiet your brakes are going to run. Well, we want to thank AMS Automotive for bringing some great products over here and give us an assistance on this. In the meantime, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we got a lot more coming here on Motorhead Garage.